Hi guys, welcome back. I uh, just want to do a little update on the laser cutter. I finally got round to putting a decent, proper honeycomb bed in it. Um, I'm just cutting out some gaskets at the moment. So um, I'll show you the difference between the, the old bed, which was kind of a bit like that, um, and the new one. This is a lot better. There. Um, what you know, there's no real kind of um, burn back marks around the edge. Um, it just gives it a much more clean. So I think there's a tiniest bit there. If you were just there, you go. Right. But um, yeah, I'll show you what it was like with the old one. Right. Okay. This is the mesh I used to use, and um, it comes already like this. It's, but the problem with it is it's got too much of a, of a surface area um, which does then reflect back up onto the underside of the work. Um, I'm just going to do this, I've got some, I know it's a bit late for Christmas but <laughs> I'm going to do a little cut here um, on some green foam and I'll show you what the result of that is. Okay, now while they look fine on the front, if you turn them over, um, you can see a lot of the edges are singed. And similarly there, it's just on parts where it has caught, where there's not a space and it's actually just reflected back off the metal. Um, which has been a bit of an annoyance really to me. Um, you can try and do things like just get the power absolutely spot on so it only just goes through the material but that is just incredibly difficult to do, to put it mildly. So what I got to replace the tables um, was this kind of, is a, it's a honeycomb, a proper honeycomb, it's aluminium. Um, unfortunately, you do have to buy it unexpanded, um, which is a bit of a fiddle to then expand a, quite a big sheet out, but you can do it by hand um, with the help of a couple of bits of straight wood with um, kind of pins through it to pull the whole sheet apart at once because it, it kind of comes in, it's really weird, it just looks like a block of solid aluminium. Um, but yeah, you need two people, but it's doable. Um, and once you've done that, you can cut it up and you can get quite a few bits because it's kind of once you get really gunked up particularly if you're cutting plywood you're going to need to replace some occasionally um, but yeah that is what I'm using now and I will just show you what I've done to support the bed right a quick look at how the beds are actually supported um, when I initially got the machine it had a, almost an entirely flat uh, solid bed but with a, um, a small section where you could clamp bits in it was about sort of three about three inches square up in the top left corner here um, but that whole bed was supported by these four posts which are just into the base of the machine and what I did first of all was to use those four posts I just left them in place um, and those I've made up these frames and those posts will actually go on the underside in the corners, which will kind of hold it in place quite well so when it was on top like that. Anyway, um, because this new mesh has actually got a thickness to it, and much more so, this is a 10 millimeter thick. I think I think that should be fine for most pieces. You can get thicker stuff. Um, I needed to cut down these support posts and um, to work out the height, I, I did like a focus test where you, you put a, a slanted piece of plywood in and then you do lots of horizontal lines to find out where it's sort of thinnest but I mean that's something I can show if people are interested in a later video because it's quite useful. When I put these pieces of angle section in, I just obviously you need to take account of any thickness there um, when you're working out how high to have it. 
I decided to set it so the bed would be set up for cutting I yeah, have like an ideal focus point on 6mm thick material because that's something I do cut 6mm ply quite often um, but then what I can do which is where these come in handy is use just if I'm cutting say 3mm um, acrylic I can just use some hackers on here on each of uh, those angle sections and that way when you put the bed in that's now set to a height which is perfect for cutting say 3mm um, obviously you can you can vary the packers depending on, on what you want anyway let's run the test again and see what it looks like with this bed Right, so with this one, if you turn it over, there, I mean there is some very, very slight, there's a little tiny bit there, um, but it is just so much better than the stuff I was using before. Um, yeah, this just really gets rid of that issue, you can see around the outlines. Anyway, that's about it. Um, definitely a worthwhile step in the right direction, I think. Um, so if you're, you're setting one of these up, try and get something like this, um, which is proper honeycomb, which has almost got no surface pointing back at you at all. You can buy sort of purpose-built laser cutting beds, um, but it's a bit sort of limited in the sizes you can get and um, they seem quite expensive for something that ultimately you're going to have to replace once they get absolutely covered in um, resin from cutting plywood and stuff.